A big decision on the Keystone Pipeline this morning. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Ryan Fowler here. Megan has the night off. The Nebraska Supreme Court announced its ruling. It was on whether the project can legally move forward. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Taylor Trujillo studied it today and has a nice top story. Taylor? Rod, the court's decision essentially eliminates one of the last major roadblocks facing the pipeline. A unanimous decision for the Nebraska Supreme Court has cleared the way for the next step of the Keystone XL pipeline. The court upheld a 2017 decision by the Nebraska Public Service Commission to let the pipeline be built in Nebraska. It's a major victory for the pipeline's developer, TransCanada, now called TC Energy, and a major blow to landowners and environmental groups who oppose the pipeline. To be told now that our property rights are not sacred, it leaves me almost speechless. That said, I have to say that we will remain united and vigilant in our resistance. Opponents argued the commission's 2017 decision, which approved an alternate route from what the developer originally wanted, was illegal. They argued the developer's application was only valid for the original route, not the new one that got approved. But the state argued the commission's decision was the right one, and now its highest court has agreed. We spoke with a commissioner who says he supports the justice's decision. Well, at this point, the commission's work is done. Um, and uh, obviously, um, you know, uh, going forward, it, it's the other parties. Uh, it's in the hands of the other parties at this point. One of the justices wrote in the decision, quote, We find there is sufficient evidence to support the PSC's determination that the alternative route is in the public interest, end quote. But a group of tribal officials, environmental groups, and landowners still insist otherwise. Knowing that there are uh, sites in this area where this pipeline will be located that haven't been studied, uh, to give that a green light is, is just uh, beyond the pale. And, and we're very disappointed and we'll continue to explore our options uh, to continue this fight. Those who support the project say it will bring jobs and lower our dependency on foreign oil. The pipe's path would go from Canada to the Gulf Coast. While this is a big step forward, opponents say they're not giving up yet. They say they plan to resist at all costs. All right, Taylor, thank you for the update on that.